What's up YouTube? Today I am going to give you three Craigslist hacks on how to make money outside from work. You do not want to miss this. Make sure you watch this whole video to the end. Inside the City, Inside the city. Edition. Hey guys, how you doing? So, um, I know I said I was gonna give you three tips, but I decided to give you one bonus tip in that video. So make sure you listen to all three, plus the one bonus tip on how to make money outside of work, how to make money on Craigslist. I call it a Craigslist hack, because not many people know about it, um, or they just don't take advantage of it. So make sure you watch the whole video, you like, comment, and subscribe down below. Let me know what your favorite part was, and uh, tell me how you're going to earn your extra income on Craigslist. What's going on guys? Today I'm back at you with the Craigslist hacks like I told you I'd bring to you. First you need to figure out what works best for you on Craigslist. Uh, are you a mechanic? Can you get a cheap car and fix it and flip it uh, as a mechanic special? You know, get it off the offline real cheap because it is a mechanic special and uh, fix it and turn around and get some profit. Uh, is there an item on there that's valuable that someone's selling really cheap because they got to pay rent or they got to pay their phone bill that you could sit on and wait for the right value to come along? Or is someone just considering it junk and it's in the free section? and you can go pick it up and turn around and sell it for some money. I'm gonna cover three ways that you can easily do this. Uh, the first way is always going to be look in the free section. The free section has all kinds of good, valuable stuff, whether it's free firewood, um, you know, free items that people consider junk or just stuff that people don't wanna get rid of. Someone in their family passed away and they just wanna set it on the curb and get rid of it, whatever it may be. They're cleaning, doing their spring cleaning, cleaning out a room, a child just moved. Who knows? There's always some good stuff in there. Um, just go through the free section, see what's worth taking, pick it up and see what you can make a profit out of. See what it's worth and search it online. Sometimes throw it on eBay, put it on Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, whatever you gotta do. Another way is uh, finding a item that somebody says, uh, you know, quick sale, they're trying to get rid of it fast, they have to pay a bill, they had an emergency, their pets are sick, had to go to the vet, something like that. A valuable item that's being sold at the fraction of the cost that you could buy today and sit on for a few days and turn around and sell it for the actual value that it's worth because you don't need the cash right away. Um, that's a really good way to get profit out of an item that you've only had for a couple days. And the third way is if you have uh, mechanical abilities there's always people that give up on their car as soon as their car breaks down they throw it online oh mechanic special because they don't want to pay the fee to go have it looked at or have it diagnosed or they don't know anybody and it's just easier for them to go buy a new car because they've been wanting that new car or um, it's just an excuse to buy a new car maybe that's what they were looking to do so if you can get a mechanic special make sure you check it out uh, because sometimes a mechanic special could be a nightmare and there's just so many things wrong with it there's no way to turn a profit so you do need to look and see if um, you know it's worth getting into you're not going to want to do major engine overhauls or transmissions in some cases if you have the parts or it's something minor like maybe a sensor or you know some fuses that went out okay that's fine but make sure that it's going to be worth your time but anyways, those are the three ways you can make easy money on Craigslist and follow this into what I'm gonna show you how to do so you can do it while you're doing this on your phone. Here is what I do uh, on Craigslist and here is how I scroll through things and how I look for things. So stay tuned and watch this and I'll see you at the end. Okay, so we're here on Craigslist and I usually always, for me, go to the cars and trucks section. And when I type in here, um, as you'll see, it will come up. I type in mechanic special, came up right there. I'm gonna go ahead and search for that. And then I'm gonna go through these, like this one right here, mechanic special, it looks, you know, like kind of like a newer car. Let's see what it is here. And um, what I do is I go through and I see exactly why it's a mechanic special. I look at the body, I look at the interior. Uh, is it clean? You know, is it nice? What is it? So here it's saying $500, mechanic special, 2005 Chevy Aveo, needs engine work. Blue and oil gasket and engine froze. Okay, well, I'll tell you right now, I don't like doing motors uh, because it's not a quick flip. So regardless of what it looks like on the inside, um, on this one, for me, I'm gonna pass. So on to the next. Now scrolling through here, uh, $300, 2000 Hyundai Luntre, eh, I'm okay. Let's see here, uh, that looks like the vehicle we just looked at. Uh, mechanic Special, Mitsubishi Endeavor. Let's take a look at this. Now the interior from that picture looks to be okay. 
Uh, selling as parts. $500 mechanic special. Has to be towed. Needs a hose replaced and spark plugs to get it running again. Well, okay. This looks like something I could do. That's pretty quick. Granted, I would have to make sure that it has compression and that's exactly what it needs. But then again, I don't know if that's snow or if that's bad paint. Um, it actually looks like snow. So it looks like pretty decent. This one right here, right here. I just want it gone. Make me an offer and tow it away. I just need it gone. No title, four parts only. Well, I know I can get a title on it. However, some people cannot. So this might not be the best one for you uh, because it does not have a title. So on to the next. Let's see here, Mechanic Special 1998 Audi A6. Let's see what this is about. Looks like a decent car. Uh, could be a timing issue, who knows. Uh, it told it had been sitting for about a year, needed a water pump, did the water pump, thermostat, timing belt, rollers, and timing belt tensioner. Turns out it needs more work and they just don't have the time. Uh, yeah, so. It doesn't look like it's going to be something that I want to get involved with. Someone else has already bought it as a project and they're giving up, so that says something. On to the next. Let's see here. Mechanic Subaru Impreza 2010. Look at that. It's a mechanic special. Needs new engine. Uh, hard pass. Let's see here. Let's take a look. Honda Santa Fe. It doesn't really say much. This is one that I would call on. It looks like it's in decent shape, uh, like a high school girl's first car that they could spend a little bit of money on. I would call on that one. Right here, 2007 Audi A4 Quattro Mechanic Special. Let's take a look. 2200 uh, that's a little expensive for a mechanic special but I would definitely have to check it out see what the blue book is um, you know here it looks like it's a decent looking car uh, I would definitely call on this one and see exactly what is going on and I would blue book this car to make sure that uh, the time and effort to get it going would be worth picking the vehicle up so that's the mechanic side of it. That's what I would be doing if I were looking for a vehicle um, you know, to flip. I would be doing that and I would keep going through it until I found something I like. Okay, so I said here, um, the other section that I go to is the free section. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into the free section. And it looks like some wood, uh, entertainment center. I would go get that entertainment center. Uh, it looks like it's in good shape. Free lawn chairs, a large metal milk can. People buy those things and they either repaint them or they use them. I would definitely get that. Um, the bar stools, I would definitely get. It looks like they're in good shape and they're worth some value. Some people looking, um, you know, to either build a bar setup or you know set up their garage or whatever it may be. Those floor lamps, if they work, great. Um, you, you know, you get the point. There's all kinds of stuff in here that's really good to use to go get uh, the beds I normally pass on you know you don't want to deal with bed bugs or anything like that um, but like this organ the organ looks like it's awesome depending on what it is I would go pick it up um, normally I'd click on these and see what they are what they're about but like the heavy duty sawhorse that is definitely something that I would do um, you know the glass doors a used bow flex that, that's free I mean why not you can always turn around and sell that sometimes you got to click on the stuff to see the pictures and that's okay but you get the point scroll through here see what you can do some items are bigger some items are smaller sometimes you can't afford to pick up those items because they're too big and you have nowhere to put them like a hot tub I couldn't store a hot tub but maybe you can so that's an option um, an older TV maybe not they don't want to take it to the dump but I don't know but that's the point on there uh, two kittens uh, I encourage making sure that if you're gonna give your kittens away that you give them away to a nice home not to make sure they won't be abandoned or anything but you get the point here. And just a little thing here, if you do get a fridge, make sure that your fridge works, uh, that you're getting. You don't want to get a fridge that they say works and it's junk. They just didn't want to pay to take it to the, um, you know, the recycling place or take it to the, the, trash, the trash disposal place. So let's not do that. But you get the point. There's a lot of stuff on here that you can get for free. These people just don't want to deal with. Get it, determine what it's worth, put it on Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, whatever it is make a little bit of side profit and uh, it goes really quick here's the other one here when people are in dire need of 
money they will come on here and post something that they need um, you know you can go through here and look at, at prices you can kind of tell if they're just trying to get rid of it or if they are trying to get a significant profit out of it um, also another way to do it is you could type in fast sale and see what's there um, you know things come up with a decent price and you could definitely benefit from that and get it and sit on it and turn around to sell it for what it's worth or you could come up here and um, type in emergency and some people do put that it's an emergency and they're ready to get rid of it or they need to get rid of it really fast something like that but you get the point kind of scroll through here find the items that are worth some money and go ahead and put them uh, or go look at them and talk to the people pick them up try to negotiate some people put a price on there and i always negotiate i will never pay what they ask um, unless it's something i really want but always negotiate and make sure that you're getting something with value that you could turn around and flip and uh it's a nice little income that you don't have to do much on you just pick the item up and whenever you're ready you post it and you just kind of sit and wait for the right dollar amount to be listed now it doesn't have to be just in electronics you could do it in jewelry you could do it uh, in general you could do it in furniture you could do barter stuff baby stuff auto parts uh, cell phones you know computers that's another really good one you can go through and kind of see what they have as you see this looks like somebody either repairs uh computers or they picked up a lot from somebody they just wanted to get rid of them um so it looks like that's exactly what that person's doing the company closed it said just go through here and see what you can find that's always going to be a really cool idea um to figure things out so that pretty much wraps up on how to go through and find cheap items uh make sure that you check the item out make sure the item works good make sure it's in good condition and i always recommend checking out um you know your city i live in reno so that's where i'm at but um check out your city see what you can find see what's worth value and see what's worth your time and make sure that everything is there before you buy it test it out because otherwise it's going to result in a loss which will be very counterproductive this is a bonus um, here on Craigslist they have a gig section um, whether they need help with events or labor or whatever it may be um, maybe you're a good writer or you have a talent that's awesome click on the labor which is really cool um, because there's all kinds of stuff here that you could do uh, like experience mover needed I've moved tons and tons of times so if I wanted to make a little bit of money and I had some time off or the day off or after work, the hours of work, this is $20 an hour to help move. That is awesome. I would definitely do that. And um, going through here, just little things. Another experience mover, a general laborer, a lawn cut needed. There's just all kinds of stuff in here. Need help moving to San Francisco, landscape laborer for a homeowner, a car cleaning, yard lot attendant, minor yard renovation. Um, you know, another experienced mover, carpet installer, just all kinds of stuff. Easy gig for someone with a truck. Uh, granted, you'll have a fifth wheel hitch, but maybe you have one or you could borrow one. Just all kinds of opportunities in here for you to earn money outside of work. And it's really, really easy to do. You would click on it. You would kind of ask them, uh, you know, this person needs welding lessons. Maybe you're a great welder and you could teach them. So that's what I will do. That is the bonus tip for today. Go through the labor and the gig section. See what you can find to earn extra money in your spare time. And it takes little to no effort. And these people seem pretty desperate. So they always pay better than a regular job because they know it's temporary. They know it's a quick little deal. So you can always make more money. And look at that. Sign toilers, spinners, attention getters. That is awesome. So that's your bonus tip for okay, today, guys. So how many of you are going to go out and make money based off that Craigslist uh, video I just did. I think it's gonna be awesome for you guys. Uh, as for me, I'm gonna go ahead and upload some videos today, spend some time with my wife and kid, and just kinda hang out. But I highly encourage you guys to go ahead and uh, start looking on Craigslist. And also, if you guys wanna start your guys' vlogs, do it today. Today is the day to do it. Uh, it does take a little bit to get in front of a camera, but most of us have cell phones nowadays and cell phones have cameras and just start using it so um if you need any little tips or you need some encouragement make sure you send me a message i will be that person for you and i really hope you enjoyed this video